Good morning, Barstow. I'm Jack Stonebarger. And I'm Aiden Lawler. How was your weekend, Jack? It was good. I uh, kept it pretty low key. Did you get a chance to uh, do that workout challenge? I haven't yet, but I'm going to make sure to get around to it. If you haven't done the challenge yet, make sure to submit your results at uh, Stow TV on Instagram or email us at btvn at barstowschool.org. Well, let's get this show started with the intro. Starting this morning, Barstow is partnering with Black & Veatch to provide a second location for morning temperature screenings. Parents and students are free to drive through the Idea Space parking lot for a temperature check before entering our main campus. The admission office begins hosting virtual open houses this week. Families considering Barstow for the next school year can register now for a lower school open house on Wednesday, October 7th or Thursday, November 5th. Middle and upper school open houses are on Saturday, October 17th, and all school open houses are on Saturday, November 10th. Jack, have you ever wondered what the schooling experience is like right now for other schools? <laughs> Absolutely. It's always nice to see how others are dealing with these just bizarre times. Let's check out this piece by Helton to find out more. Hi, I'm Helton, and I will be interviewing Lee Summit High School student Charlotte Manganero. I will be interviewing Scion student Ellie Hutchin. So what does your typical school day look like now during COVID? Well, my school day, since I chose to do online school, I usually wake up early and then get online for school at 8 a.m. And I may have a Google Meet scheduled with my teacher and my peers, but more often than not, it's just asynchronous work that's been published and is due a certain date further into the week. I go to school in person and we have block days on Wednesday and Thursday. So I only go to like half of my schedule on Wednesday and then the other half on Thursday and then I don't have school on Fridays. Are there multiple learning plans your school is offering? Yes, we have online and we have in person and then we have where some girls get to come in person like half of the week and then they do online mostly because they have family that they're not like they don't want to worry about exposing the virus to or risking that and then they have girls that have to quarantine for two weeks if they come to school with a fever or symptoms anything like that could you elaborate more on what the online students are doing it depends on the teacher but mostly they do Zoom to check in for attendance and stuff like that. Then mostly they're allowed to like log off because we do a lot of our stuff online. So the teachers like make our assignments for everyone. Yeah, so our school offered kind of two point blank options. We could do all online, which would stay online regardless of different recommendations within our district. And then we could do an in-person option, which would fluctuate based on what the district said was okay. Uh, so right now, people who chose in-person learning are actually all at home doing something called virtual learning, which is not really the same as online. It's more like structured call times and they have to be in their hours. Whereas, like I said before, mine is more asynchronous and just work is pushed out for me. What have you found most challenging about your learning plan currently? Probably that a lot of things changed last minute, mostly because the teachers have to make sure online kids are allowed to do some of the stuff that we do in class. And um, I've had a lot of open note tests, so it's fair if the online students, it's like, you know, you never know if they're cheating or anything like that on tests, so they make it open note for all of us. I would say just how um, different teachers do different things. It's hard to find where people want assignments submitted and in the first place where assignments are submitted. So what do you think has been the best thing about your learning plan? I would say definitely not having to wake up as early and have to like get on the bus and also just being able to eat whenever I want. 
they still make sure that all of us get to meet new people, especially since it's freshman year. We get to, um, mostly when we do group things, we're still allowed to meet girls online. And it's it's been fun um, because I didn't really think I'd have the opportunity to do that. Thank you for your time. Thanks. Thank you, bye. Great piece, Hilton. It's nice to see what other schools are doing to keep school going during the pandemic. Now let's see a piece by Avisha on Barstow's online learning. Hi, I'm Sartha Fane and I am in fourth grade at Barstow. Uh, I'm Avisha and I'm a junior at Barstow and we're doing virtual learning. Learning online has been a good experience because we can do the same things uh, here that we would have been able to do at school. Um, I think it's really good that we're able to stay at home and be safe while also learning at virtually the same level as the people going to school. Even though the social environment isn't the same at home as it would be at school, there are so many forms of communications that we can use now. A lot of the times my friends and I like to FaceTime during our free periods or during lunch so that we can have the same experience as we would have at school. And the teachers have been really helpful um, with tech issues or any problems that arise. And learning isn't very different because we're able to see the lectures in real time and the new swivel technology has made it really easy for us to see our classmates and things written on the boards. Thank you Barstow for this opportunity to stay safe and learn at the same time. Like I mentioned earlier, it's crazy to see all of the workarounds and solutions people are coming up with to work during COVID-19. Finally, on Friday, October 9th, Lower School has the supply pickup in the lobby from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Well, I believe that's all we have for you today. I'm Jack. And I'm Aiden. Have a great week, Barstow.